So in this question, we are asked to determine the density of lead. We are given several measurements, the height, the width, and the length of this rectangular bar, which we've drawn below. And then of course, we are given a mass. We, we know the density of an object is equal to its mass divided by the volume. So in order to get the density, we're gonna need the mass and the volume. The mass is given. We can easily calculate the volume of this rectangular bar because we know that the volume of a rectangular bar is equal to its length times its width times its height. So what we'll do is plug in all of these known values. We'll have 25 centimeters times the 1.55 centimeters times the 0.5 centimeters. And when you work that all out, you will get a volume of 19.375 centimeters cubed. So we'll take that volume and the given mass, we'll plug them in to the density equation and we will have our answer 217.5 grams divided by 19.375 centimeters cubed and we're going to get a lengthy decimal here but we'll end up rounding it to the correct number of significant figures so 11.2258 and so on if you look back at the given quantities in the question the quantity with the fewest number of significant figures was this one. This has two significant figures after the decimal point. So we'll round our answer to two significant figures as well. Basically, that means we're just going to go to the 11. We have to decide whether we'll round it up to 12 or keep it at 11. And we can see based on the adjacent digit of 2, since that's less than 5, we will not round this up to 12. We'll just keep it as 11. And the unit will be grams per centimeter cubed. That was a three right there. So this would be the correct answer for the density.